everyone, welcome to Wednesday Weekly Word. I'm Monique, uh, YA coordinator for YA. So I'm gonna be doing it this week and the word we're gonna be focusing on is unity. It's a little bit rainy behind me today, so if you hear some cloud sounds, I apologize. So let's start with the origin of the word. So it starts with Latin, unis, which is one, and it kind of shifts into the old French, which is unité, and that's when we get to the Old English, which ends up being what we know now as unity. So we're going to go straight to the Bible where we use that word. And we're going to look at Ephesians 4, 1 to 6. It says, I therefore, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain unity of the spirit, in the bond of peace, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all in all. I think what's some two key points that I'm going to come from here is, first when we look at Ephesians 1, 4, 1 and 2, it says, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. I think frequently, especially we're seeing now in society with politics and culture, and especially within our church, there's huge lack of unity and a huge mistreatment of other people. And especially we can see this with like doctrinal secretarianism. It, it tends to build on unnecessary division that can harm the unity of the church. I'm not saying that we should dilute it, um, doctrine for unity, but our approach needs to be God honoring, as it says, with humility, gentleness, and patience. Also, what is huge is when he says, You were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. I really want to focus on the word your call. What is our job, which is our mission? It's a huge focus. Above all, we need to have unity in the church and community for us to, to become disciples. A huge quote which I really liked from Ortland, who it's called Finding the Right Hills to Die On, which is a great book kind of understanding the importance of unity and what are things in doctrine that are important for us to die on or not. And I love this quote, he says, pursuing the unity of the church does not mean that we should stop caring about theology, but it does mean that our love for theology should never exceed our love for real people. I think it's important that our mission, us being disciples, it's important that we look at that, our call, our mission that God calls us to before we are looking to just our love for theology, even though it is important and it is critical. So if this is something you've definitely been struggling with, I know I struggle with it as well, and we definitely see it obviously in our culture. I think a prayer that I really like us to say today, that is from um, Ortland himself in his book, and here it says, Lord, give me a warm corner in my heart for other Christians, especially those I am tempted to reject or despise. I know that I cannot solve all the divisions in our church, but show me what the next step might be for me personally to pursue and cultivate and honor the unity of your bride. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.